Hello dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting further, I would like to say something. Please watch video completely. Sit with copy pane. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed further. Although you have facing any problem or difficulties, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Here is the question. Three objects A, B and C are kept in a straight line on a frictionless horizontal surface. These have masses M, 2M and M. Respectively, the object A moves B with a speed 9 meter per second and makes an elastic collision with it. Thereafter, B makes completely inelastic collision with C. All motions occurs on the same straight line. Find the final speed in meter per second of the object C. Here, the students, in first view, it looks like very simple. But there are two important concepts. Here, given three blocks, the mass is M to M and M respectively. They are collide. First collision is given is elastic and second collision is inelastic. What is the difference between the elastic collision and inelastic collision? Elastic collision, it means their energy and momentum conserved. And the inelastic case, their only momentum is conserved, but energy is not conserved. It means they will stick together. So therefore, it is very important. We can't get the velocity by using only laws of conservation of momentum. So therefore, we have using these two formula for getting the velocity of first and second. But here we have given already 9 meter per second of first velocity means UA is given. So therefore, it is not used. We have to find after first collision, we have to get the velocity of VB. Is it clear? Now substitute this value. You can see that 2 ma, what is given? Mass is given a and 2 m and m, c m and here it is given 9. And you can see that before collision u2, u2 means the velocity before collision is 0. So therefore, full value becomes 0. Its velocity is given m m cancel 3 1 the 3 is a 9 then vb is equal to 3 to the 6 meter per second. So we get the velocity of this b is a 6 meter per second. Now this collision is inelastic. So there will therefore they will stick together. Now we have we can use the laws of conservation of momentum. So here before collision 2m and the velocity is 6 and after collision they will stick together. So 2m and m become 3m and its velocity of 3c then uh, m m cancel out 2 into 6 divided by 3 then 3 ones are 3 3 to the 6 vc equal to 4 meter per second. Is it clear? So it is very important things inelastic and elastic collision. So this question in the view of this concept is very important, very beautiful question. I hope so you understand this question. Thank you for dear students staying till the ends of this video. And I know that very well you are working very hard. And if I will be a part of your success journey that it will be my pleasure. But when more and more students will join with your success journey, then it will be very great things. Thank you once again. Take care.